Challengers was released in 2024 and was directed by Luca Guadani Neo. It tells the story of a tennis player who has just become a coach and has transformed her husband from a mediocre player into a world famous champion. To strike him out with his recent losing streak, she makes him play a challenger event that's close to the lowest level of tournament on the pro tour. Tension starts to rise when he finds himself standing across the net from the once promising, who is now burnt out, Patrick, his former best friend and Tashi's former boyfriend. Hi everyone, Dragon Critic aka The O'Brien. Today I am with... Me, Dara, a.k.a. Dotsie Talks Movies. Good man. So, <laughs> with the wonderful Dara again, today we are going to be reviewing the movie that we just saw. Uh, we are going to be talking about Challengers. So, Challengers was a movie... Uh, what was your expectations going into it? How did you discover it? I remember seeing the trailers for it, a mixture of on YouTube, and I remember seeing it before certain movies. I thought it looked interesting, but... I'm just going to say this now and put it to the side. I'm not really the biggest rom-com fan out there, but mm. it is a tennis movie, and I think having sports mixed in with a rom-com yeah. was actually a pretty interesting concept. Yeah. So I was excited to see how it would pan out. Yeah, I remember I saw a trailer for, I think, on Zenday's Instagram page, or Tom Holland's Instagram page, whatever. I just remember seeing it on uh, <laughs> Instagram, and... It wasn't, it didn't really look like my kind of movie, personally, but yeah. I did think it looked interesting enough, and then um, you asked if I wanted to go see it with you, mm-hmm. and I said, you know what, yeah, sure, it might be a bit of fun to see, you know, something different, and you know, um, it was an interesting experience, because when the movie, when we were in the cinema, we had sound issues, didn't we, Dara? We did, we had various sound mm. issues, so the last ads were playing... The movie was about to start, it started, it was all well and good. Then about five minutes in, yeah. the sound just stopped, and then to add insult to injury, the picture froze, Yeah. so we had to go right back to the start, Oh yeah, yeah. and it took about 20 minutes for us to go back to the start, Yeah. and then when we went back to the start, we got about 30 minutes in, and then it stopped again. Then they had to go back to the scene we were previously at, then towards the end of the movie, stopped once again. Then we had to go right back to the scene again. Yeah. So, various sound issues. Yes, it was ridiculous with the sound Crazy. issues. Project, like, the freezing, the pauses. It was, in all honesty, it was hilarious. And maybe the experience, maybe it kind of hurt the pacing just a little bit. A little bit. But that's not necessarily anything against the movie itself. It was just the experience that kind of hurt it just a little bit, I feel. And they were also playing... The clips without the sound. So that yeah. was a little bit... It was kind of a little bit creepy. Yeah, it was, because the cinema was so quiet. Um, it was a very interesting experience. I remember somebody said something, and we all started laughing. I actually can't yeah, remember what it was, but me somebody too, said but something. Was, there was something funny, but... Uh, as for the movie itself, well, I thought the movie... Actually, you know what? I'm going to st- let you go first. What did you think of Challengers? I thought it was real 50-50. Mm-hmm. The first half of the movie, it started off really well. It was starting off really good. They were setting certain things up. So you have three characters. You have Zendaya's character. Then you have her two friends that are kind of like... Yeah. There's a love triangle between the two of them. Yeah. And they're setting up this romantic tension between the pair of them. They're setting all this up at the start. Yeah. And they go back to 13 years in the past. But yeah. what was confusing about the movie is that they were jumping between the past and the present, which made it very confusing to follow. Yeah. At the start, it worked out well because they only did it once or twice. But as mm. you get into the second half, they kept doing it more and more often to the point where it was confusing to figure out whether you were in the past or whether you were in the present. Yeah, there were definitely. I definitely agree with the timeline, the constant back and forth, especially in the third act. It was very confusing. It was a little... It was a little hard to follow at points. Yeah. I did think the story itself, um, when the film started, I was kind of going, oh, I don't know. It's probably just because, like, me personally, it's not really my kind of movie. Yeah. And, so, but, like, as I was letting the film go on, I was saying to myself, you know what, this is actually kind of interesting. This is going into an interesting direction. The dynamics are pretty interesting. And I did feel um, you really are following the three main characters which was good. Um, they are the front and centre of the movie. They're the ones you're following from start to finish. 
And it is interesting to see where it goes. But I think it was the third act was where the movie started to f- fall. And I think yeah. the pacing of the third act, I was starting to lose interest. And it was starting to just not only feel a bit kind of repetitive, but it just really kind of dragged. And Now, maybe the experience kind of hurt this a little bit. But I did feel the third act was way too long. And I think the ending was just ridiculously dragged out. And it was a very open book kind of ending because you didn't know what was going to mm. happen next. And they never, even in like a post credit scene, they don't even explain it. And there was no post credit scene. Yeah, I think though as well, um, it was just, I don't know, like I do feel the ending in the third act, it didn't quite fit with the rest of the movie. Yeah. I feel it just... I don't know, it just felt way too long. I feel the ending was way too dragged out. And even Tyg, who we didn't see the movie with him, we mm-hmm. met him afterwards. Tyg said he felt the ending was stupid and I can see I can see where he was coming from. And even in the third act, there's so much stuff happening yeah. that you're actually you're getting confused and one of the characters in the movie, Patrick He's the guy that you see in the trailer with the darker hair. Mm -hmm. I started to really dislike him in the third act because he's getting really desperate and it's very clear that he's become this loser who's done practically nothing with his life and he's trying so hard to get with Zendaya's character that he's actually coming off as a loser, basically. Yeah, I definitely agree. Patrick, really annoying. He's very smart. Yeah, I found him... I just found him really cliche. He's the typical, oh, I'm better than you, I'm big and all. And he's just, I just think he was cringy. I just didn't think he was that good of a character. I didn't even think, well, okay. So the performance, acting-wise, everyone does a pretty solid job. <laughs> but I just thought, I agree with you about Patrick. I didn't like Patrick. I just thought he was too too full of himself, I felt. But I do think the story... Um, it was, in, I did like it, it was interesting, it was more so, it's one of those movies where it starts off really, really interesting, and then it just kind of, it starts to go down a little, and you kind of start, I personally feel, it starts to lose its interest, yeah. and it just gets, it just doesn't get more interesting, it just gets a bit boring, well, yeah, a bit boring, boring. and kind of dull. It felt like they were just throwing so many different ideas at the wall, that worked in previous rom-com movies, mm. in previous sports movies. They were throwing those ideas at the wall, and then those ideas just hit the fan, and they went yeah. all over the place. Yeah, agreed. I just think the third act was definitely the weakest part, because the first mm-hmm. two acts were pretty good, and I was actually, the humour, you know, the humour was actually, I was laughing quite a lot. Yeah, it was, it was pretty funny, I will give it that. Yeah. We did get quite a few hysterical laughs. There definitely. were a few chuckles, and... People in the cinema were laughing as well, so Definitely. people were having a good time. Yeah, the, humor-wise, it was very funny. Um, I just think it was the third act that did hurt the movie a little bit. And, I, and I'm not going to lie, the third act kind of dropped my rating down a bit. But I do think the performances, like I said, they're pretty good. Um, the characters are pretty good. Um, I think Zendaya's character is pretty good. What's the blonde hair guy's name again? I can't remember. I actually can't remember off the top of my head his oh, name. Oh, God. Um, we'll just say... Oh, Jesus, this is embarrassing, the <laughs> fact that we don't know his name. We apologise. But he was decent. Um, he was decent. Um, Tashi was Zendaya's character. Tashi, that's Yeah, right. she was good. Um, yeah, so overall, the characters were pretty good. They had um, interesting dynamic, even if Patrick is a bit... Ugh, but the dynamics were good, and I was you know invested in the dynamic. It was just the ending that was you know the, the, wor- the weakest part. Chani's husband actually, he felt so much like other rom-com characters mm. in that he's, Patrick is the guy who's full of himself and just thinks of himself, whereas yeah. Chani's husband is actually there for her and supports her. But I feel when it got towards the end of the movie, Chani's character got really bitter. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I think so too. But I think as well, there was this constant back and forth mm. and it was just kind of like, it just got very repetitive and repetitive. And it just kind of started to lose its interest, started to lose its flavour. And you just didn't understand what path she was going to go down, mm. whether she was going to stick with him or go yeah. to lean towards Patrick. Yeah, um, it, it definitely was kind of um, 
back and forth. And I did think some see some with the dialogue. The dialogue's you know, it, it's it's well written. Some of the dialogue I was going to go like, oh my god, that's cringy. so corny, that's so stupid to say. <laughs> But it was in a funny way, I'd say. Yeah, it was, it was a definitely. cheesy kind of funny. You just go, that's so dumb, but you just laugh at it. It was kind of like how we felt about the Marvels. Yeah, the yeah. scene in the Marvels. Yeah, oh, Jesus, yeah. Um, but I think the music, yeah, the music wasn't too bad. It was, I thought the music was all right. I think it actually fit with the tennis games, and they yeah. actually got the swings right. You know, the mm-hmm. noises that people make when they swing the tennis rackets? Yeah. Like, huh, huh. Yeah. They actually got them right. Agreed, and I think visually as well, the movie's got very nice visuals. The tennis scenes remind me of an Adam Sandler movie. I can't believe I'm saying that, they just do. Was it just the comedy that kind of reminded you, or just the... I think it was just the colour as well. The colour palette. Yeah, I think it reminded me a lot of Happy Gilmore. I know, a completely different film, but it was just the grass. I think it was the pitches that reminded me so much of... An Adam Sandler film. I was thinking of Happy Gilmore when you were saying it reminds you of an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, that's what I think. But um, is there anything else you'd like to say about the film? I'd just say that the film is a little bit of a mixed bag. Mm. I mainly went to see it because of the infamous memes that have been going around <laughs> over the last few <laughs> months. <laughs> the canon event memes. Yeah. And if you've seen Spider-Verse, you probably know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. But it is a mixed bag. If you'd like to go check it out, Feel free to go check it out. Yeah. I do recommend, if you're a fan of it, if you like the look of it, give it a watch, give it a mm. chance. Don't let any of the reviews, any of the critical reviews, deter your opinion. No. And I definitely think it's worth giving a chance. Yeah, I would say, I thought it was um, good enough. I thought it was, it was the third act that kind of killed it a little bit. But I think it was a good enough film. I thought it was good and had its merit. And I think... I'm glad I gave it a chance. I think overall, I would give Challengers a 7 out of 10. I think overall, this is going to sound a little bit harsh, but I think I'm going to give the movie a 5 out of 10, personally. Mm. Just, the first half was great. At the start of the second half, it was good, but it was starting to lose its touch. And then the third act, it fell off a cliff. Yeah. So I'd say it's that fine halfway point. So that's why I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, fair enough. Um, it wasn't it wasn't perfect. Um, no. It definitely had a few issues. I think the pacing, it kind of the third act really did drag. I think the ending, it just they didn't gel well with the rest of the movie. But I would still say I'm glad I saw. It. Thank you for asking me to go see it with you. You're welcome. Because um, it was, you know, an interesting experience. A very interesting experience, to say but the least. It was good. I thought it was good. And I can see where you're coming from, and I can see why you feel it's a 50-50 film. Um, but, yeah, I think, personally, I liked it. It's not really my thing, personally. But I'm still glad I saw it. I would still give it a chance. And would I watch it again? Yeah, probably, because I thought it was good. I'm really glad I saw it with you, actually, because I was just thinking, if I didn't see it with you, or if I didn't see it with a friend, I think I would have been bored out of my mind. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that is possible. (laughs) Very possible. Yeah, um, yeah, it was, it's a fun film to see with, um, friends and stuff. So, uh, is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up, or? I think that's pretty much everything. I just, I just say to everyone, give it a chance, give it a watch, and you never know. I know people who absolutely adore it, and I know there's people who absolutely hate it. Yeah. So, I just say, form your own opinions, don't let anybody else decide for you, and it's really up to yourself whether you like it or not. So, Mm. go see it, it's out now, give it the chance. And just go in with an open mind. Yeah. I would say it was pretty good. So, stay tuned for my next video. And stay tuned for future videos with good old Dara. And, yeah. So, see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys have seen Challengers, let us know your, your thoughts down in the comment section below. Stay tuned for future videos. And until then, skidoosh, skidoosh. everyone.